Governor DeWine today ordered flags throughout the state to be flown at half staff to honor Annie Glenn. The widow of John Glenn died today at the age of 100. She died of complications of COVID-19 in a nursing home in St. Paul, Minnesota, not far from the home of her daughter, Lynn. Annie once said she and John would sometimes reflect on their life and realize it had been amazing. And it's hard to disagree with that. They met as infants in a playpen, their parents' best friends in their small hometown of New Concord, Ohio. Uh, Annie and I have never known a time we didn't know each other. A little unusual. An unusual start to a remarkable life. Annie Glenn was a gifted musician who turned down a scholarship to Juilliard to attend Muskingum College with her John. More comfortable close to home, living with a speech impediment that plagued her. I realized that I was not like all of the other kids was in the sixth grade and uh, I got up to uh, give a poem and one of the uh, kids laughed and I thought, uh oh, I am not like anybody else in this room. They married at the start of World War II as John left to become a decorated Marine fighter pilot, later a test pilot, then astronaut. He said Annie told him they should remove the second A from that word. Now you have to think about that, spell out astronaut, and that leaves it astronaut. If you take, <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you take out the second A. Did she think you were crazy to be part of that program? No, well, she, it, was so, it was brand new enough and, and different enough that she was not too enamored of the program to begin with. I, I never even heard the word astronaut. I had to learn how to spell that word. I was, I really w I didn't think we should be going out to into a God's heaven. Her husband, a national hero, then a U.S. senator, she finally went away to an intensive speech program at Holland's Communication Institute in Roanoke to correct her speech. Those three weeks, we weren't allowed at all to see our family or to call or anything. We were so when I called John, he cried. I caught up with her in Washington, where her John was to receive the Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. As we look at how his life mirrored the history of this country in the last, nearly the last century, I think his real story is a love story. Would you agree with that? Because you've been at his side. Well, since I've known him since I was two years old. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to last. <laughs> Do you think? We've been married 69 years now. Oh, wow. Well, wow. yeah, I think you might. Make you it. Think I think you two kids might just make it. Glenn's former chief of staff says after they settled into retirement, the Glenn set a life goal of living to 100. He missed it by a few years. For uh, all those years during World War II, the Korean War, his two flights into outer space, Annie always patiently waited for her John to come home. And since uh, December of 2016, when John passed away, uh, he's been patiently waiting for his Annie. And today they are, I think, where they always wanted to be, which is together for all of eternity. Annie and John Glenn's legacies will not be forgotten. We have videos, pictures, and much more on our website. Go to NBC4i.com and click on the story we have on our homepage.